The bevel and pinion gears are located inside the gearbox on the front of your grinder. They are the gears that drive the grinder's spindle. The gears will wear over time. They can wear faster or be damaged if the grinder is overloaded. When the gears are worn, there will be excessive gear lash and a louder than normal sound from the grinder. Damaged gears may make a clicking noise or the motor might run, but the grinding wheel doesn't spin. Replacing the bevel and pinion gear set is a repair that you can do yourself and I'm gonna show you how. I'll begin by removing the motor housings from the grinder. Now I have access to the motor brushes. I'll go ahead and pull the spring away from the brush and I'll pull the brush away from the armature. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Next, I'll remove the wheel guard. And now, the latch for the wheel guard. The latch is secured with a C-clip, and I'll use a small screwdriver to remove it. And now I can remove the latch. With the guard and latch out of the way, now I have access to the four screws that secure the lower half of the gearbox to the upper half. I'll go ahead and remove those. and now I can remove the lower cover on the gearbox. Now remove the gearbox from the motor housing and the armature will come out with it as well. Now I'll pull the armature from the gearbox. And now I can remove the gear from the end of the armature. It's secured with a nut. And now I can install the new gear and secure it with the nut. And now I'll install the armature with the new gear back into the gearbox housing. Now I'll remove the spindle gear. I'll secure the spindle with one wrench and use a smaller wrench to remove the nut on the top. There's a series of washers that'll come out now and you'll want to keep track of the order. And again, I have a washer inside the gear as well as on the bottom. Now I can install the new spindle gear. I'll replace the washers in the same order that I removed them.
And now I'll place the gear back over the spindle. And I'll secure the gear with the nut. Now resecure the two halves of the gearbox. As I install the lower half, I want to make sure that the gears mesh together. That looks good. Now I can secure it with the screws. I want to install some new Loctite onto the screws during reassembly. Now I'll reinstall the armature into the motor housing and secure the two halves of the grinder together. Now I'll press the brush tight against the armature and replace the brush spring. and the same on the other side. Now replace the lock lever for the guard. I place it over the post, and then I use a small screwdriver to pull the tension spring back. I press the lever all the way down and release the spring. And I'll secure the lever with the C-clip. and now I'll replace the guard. Now I can reinstall the longer portion of the motor housing. It has two tabs in the front that lock into notches on the motor housing. I'll make sure that I have the switch actuator pulled all the way back. I'll flip the grinder over And on this side, I want to make sure that I have the actuator lever behind the switch. Now I'll tuck the wires out of the way and install the smaller piece of the cover. And secure it with the screws. And now you can install a new bevel and pinion gear set in your grinder.